That's a good one. I said it was a good one, but it's a, boy, he's a skinny son of a gun. He's a little keeper, but he's skinny as heck. All right, here we are, hunter of fish, bass with bus, mystery lake. I say a mystery lake. I've never been here before. I've heard of this lake, but I've never once been here before, so I'm exploring new waters. And I've been here for about an hour, and that's my first bass. That's actually my f uh, fourth blow up on a frog, though. Uh, this lake is, ooh, it's dark, tannic water, tons of weeds, steep drop-offs though, so it's got a lot of challenges here trying to figure this thing out. Uh, but I just came here and started fishing this slop along these docks. Boom! Keeper number one, tune in. There's a good something. Oh, man. Oh, we got a giant bass! Oh, we got a giant. Oh, we got a giant! Yeah, come here! No, 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 yes, sir! <laughs> oh, barely hooked. Us on a 9K Elite Lure Swim Jig with a Loch Ness Lures Nessie Swim Bait on the back of it. Just come on a point out here and saw some bait fish activity and start throwing a swim jig and boom! Shaka laka. Oh, always follow the activity. See the bait fish? There's gotta be something over there eating it. Alright, that's one big one. Yep, that's a hit. Well, now that's a close call. Woo! Oh. Just junk fishing. He's got another good bass here. Yeah, he come right off that dock behind me. Skip my Leviathan, that's a soft stick bait. And he popped it. You can see the weeds. Obviously, he was sitting in the weeds right next to that dock. Popped it and came out. Now, Leviathan is just soft stick bait, stick bait like a Yamoto Senko. I prefer them. They're cheaper and just as effective. So, that's kind of a win win deal. So now I've had three keepers, frog, swim jig, and soft stick bait. What kind of pattern I got going on here. Early summer slash post spawn junk fish. So the nice thing about this lake is that it's very deep, so I can eliminate most of the lake right away. It's just a matter of if I want to fish on the inside, or the outside of the weed edges, and the fact that there's a steep break line all the way around, I can fish both at the same time. It's a big one. It's just that it, it, it definitely frayed my line coming out of that dock. Well, you can see each post spawn you can get. So, I'm trying to keep pressure on him, but not too much. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he frayed my line coming out from underneath that pontoon boat. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
Oh, Andy Buster started to have some fun out here. So I put my little device on Andy's pontoon boat and he took it. Yes, sir. So I got four keepers. I wanted a pound and a half, two pounder, three and a half, and that four pounder. Those are the only four fish I've caught here on this little mystery lake. I'll tell you a little bit about this mystery lake. It's less than 200 acres. I'm somewhere out here in the Midwest. It's a natural lake. It's not a reservoir. I don't see any current. And I think these conditions are as bad as they get. You can see, pretty much glassy, calm. I hate these conditions. Fish can see your bait. They seem to be spooky on everything. It's more difficult to trick them. But, I'm starting to get on to something. <laughs> there we go. There's our limit for the day. Another chunky, eh, not chunky, but definitely pole spawn fish, two and a half pounder. Come right underneath that pontoon boat. And, and that makes our third keeper on a Leviathan. Now, let me just say, this has been a really tough bite. I'll let him go. Been a really tough bite. And I don't think I picked the right lake today because I've heard from some locals who have complained about the bite that they're spraying weeds out here today. That's no good. I think these fish are post spawn, which makes it worse. Got another big one. Got another big one. Oh, man. I can miss that bird. This thing jumps straight out of the water. water. There you are. <laughs> oh, man. Bite picking up in these docks or what? Six fish on this lake, six keep. That's a pretty good ratio. Now I've been fishing for, oh, ouch. That metal gets hot in the sun, huh? I've been fishing for, well, about seven to one, so six hours. Well, that wraps up my day. Bass with Bluff Hunter Fish, thanks for tuning in. Actually ended up with some quality fish. Best five would have gone about 14 pounds. And out here in the middle of the Midwest, not all that shabby considering the conditions. It's June 20, oh boy, 22nd, 2019. Had an abnormally wet and cold spring and it's just, uh, just yesterday, it was a high of 66 degrees. Today we got about 10 degrees warmer than that, 76, 77 degrees. So it's warmed up. The water temperature is like was 70 when I took off this morning, it's now 76 degrees. And a number of things going against me here. They're spraying weeds out here. These fish are still in a post-spawn funk and the water rising that quickly in a matter of six hours, I think is, is tough on the fish too. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Uh, it's definitely junk fishing. Caught the one fish on a frog. Actually had a number of blow ups on a frog today, but just couldn't hook up with any but the one. And even the one fish that I caught blew up on it three times. And uh, uh, so I tried flipping, definitely tried some flipping and, and Boy, I could not score the fish that either. I had one bite on that one blow up, one two pounder jumped after it. Ended up fishing a lot of docks because I figured that's an isolated structure that isolated fish are gonna hang out on. And that ended up producing four of our six fish. All of those fish came on a, a soft stick bait. I use the Loch Ness Lewis Leviathan, but we're talking about a soft stick bait like a, like a Senko. I wacky rig all of them. My man Jim Wheeler's disappointed right now that I wasn't flipping a jig under those docks. But truth is, Jim, I threw a jig like crazy. Ow! Freaking! Ow! And I just could not get bit on it. And in fact, I was throwing a jig over and over and over until I, I just started throwing a soft stick bait because I could not get bit with that jig. Caught one nice quality fish on a swim jig. And I was in about eight foot of water. Past that, everything was two foot of water or less. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, doggone, hit that subscribe button, click on the notifications. You're gonna love, you love fishing. You love this channel. You found a great place for you. Please check out my sponsors. They're gonna come up here at the end. And I got several promo codes to save you some money on some top quality fishing baits as well. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.